Uh, welcome to my tutorial on Tinkercad. And what we're going to do is draw um, one of your designs on Tinkercad, and then we're going to export it, if we can, to augmented reality, so that if you do have the device, you can see what it will look like on your desk. So the first thing we need to do is draw, I would draw, the two blocks of wood. Okay, so I'm going to just drag that box there. Don't worry about the colour. Uh, now that's, uh, sh if we put the two um, fingers on the mouse pad, go up and down. If I click in, then I can start moving it around. And then sometimes you can pan it as well, but at the moment it seems to be very difficult to go. Come on, right, so let's zoom in a bit, we'll get closer. And I'm going to click that, and I'm going to drag it down. Now that says 20. Um, the piece of wood, I think, is about... 30. So if we go 30 by 30 high, drag that, see? 30 high there, and the length is about 150. So if I just click that, 150 or. Oh, so there. Okay, so that's our first piece of wood. Now I know some of you are getting all upset because it's red and of course it should be brown for wood. So we can just make that brown there. Okay. All right, the next one is the another piece of wood which is 15 by 15 by 150. So first of all, I'm just going to drag that to make it 150. Okay, that's not working, so instead I'm just going to click there and type in 150 and press enter. That one, I'm going to type in 15 and press enter. And then here, if I click that one, I can actually do that and press 15 and press enter. So there are two ways in which you can change the dimension. One is by dragging, and of course one is by clicking and typing in. So there's my two pieces of wood there. Okay, just have a quick look and see if I go there and go custom no I think it's better just to stick with the presets okay the next thing to do is to draw the shapes and to do that we we already know that we've got triangles and things um, and circles so the easiest way would be to draw the first thing I'm going to draw is a triangle so I'm going to do the roof not sure why it's called a roof. Now this one, I'm going to turn it around. So there's your angles, and we're going to turn it to 90 degrees. Okay, again, you know exactly now that you can type in. And we're going to just drag that over here. Now I want my triangle at the back. In fact, I'm drawing exactly the same thing that I drew on the board. So let's see if we can just turn that around. Get that flat, 135, so minus 135, and that's 45 plus uh, 90, if you've been doing trigonometry and maths. And then we're just going to stretch that right out there. Ooh, lovely. Now, of course, that needs to be 150. And then we're going to raise it right up. Now, this one we call eyeballing, okay? So if I just spin that around... You can eyeball, Ay. zoom out a bit, not too much. God, it's painful, isn't it? Let's do the, oy, 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 we're here forever. Right, and we're just going to go up, and I think that looks pretty cool. Now, the thickness of the MDF, of course, is 3 mil, so we're just going to click that, click that, and type 3. And obviously, you know exactly what colour that should be, so well, let's make it that colour, and that yellow. Oh, look at that, it's already looking good. Okay, I'm going to try and speed up. So, um, if I look, if I want to look directly left, I'm going to click that on the view cube. I'll zoom in, drag it, and drag it down. Now, to drag it down, it's these arrows, you see. Okay, so that's left. We'll go here, and we're going to just have a look at the front. And now I can, of course, drag it down. So painful. Go 
here. We do have mice, so if it's easier for you, just use that. Okay, that looks pretty clear. I'm going to do that, and that's there. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'll just move that out of the way. So the next one I said was a... Um, I wanted a circle, half a circle, but I'm going to put the half circle in the background. So originally, that was at the front. I think it will look better if it's in the back. So I'm going to do that. Do this one, do this one, press three. Um, my drawing, it looks like it comes across halfway. So if I just put 75 there, and of course, if that's 75, then that has to be half of that, which would be about... Thirty-eight. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and now I'm going to drag that and push it here. Again, keep turning it to make sure you got it right. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is move this one and move it closer. And then the last thing I need to do is my square. Okay, where's my square? Where's my square? Oh, it's a box. So, so the box goes in here and the square again remember the most important thing really to make it look better is three mil and i'm just going to make that square a bit better so let's go 50 click by 50. that's all right i think it's a bit big for a phone but it works okay now complicated parts at the moment that is uh, pretty much finished if we have a look we've got the little gaps okay we could probably move that a bit closer and um, we could move that a bit closer as well but you are actually going to see gaps anyway i could move this up if i wanted and then i can move this back and then move that back and that makes it a bit neater but again it's up to you it's your design now I want three holes because I want the pencils to go in there. To do a hole is a little bit complicated. What I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract one from the other. So there's my cylinder. Now a hole, uh, a pencil is about eight millimeters normally. So if I just put nine and nine, that makes quite a cool hole. Now we move the hole into the place where it needs to be. So that's where the hole needs to be. I don't want the hole to go all the way through because otherwise the pens will fall out. And I'm just going to put it like that. Now, copy and paste. So Command C, Command V. Drag that one. Try and get it as accurate as you can. C and V. And do that one. Now what you're going to do is you're going to subtract this hole from that. So if I go one shift and click shift and click shift and click and then press hold no <laughs> oh no right, i'm gonna undo that sorry and undo it again Need that one to remove from that one That one there, you see the, uh, the group? Now, that one, that one, shift, click, and press group there, okay? And that makes the holes. Okay, now, you can, of course, you can do other things. Let's say you wanted to do a groove for your uh, keyboard or phone. I'm gonna turn that 90 degrees. And of course, you're gonna, sorry, drag, this one out and then you drag it in and it doesn't matter about the top remember we can go up and I'm not actually going to do this but I'm going to show you how to do it oh come back out again so annoying let's have a look at the front view no front view take this drag it over so it overlaps you can see it overlapping but let's make it overlap even more now of course if I go click this one so and then shift click that one and group you're going to get that groove wow amazing right so i'm just going to undo that because i don't really want that so i'm just going to click that and press delete so i'm done okay 
Now you can use this, so you can screenshot that and use it as your idea. Or even better, what you can do is export it as a GLTF. Now a GLTF or a GLB file is an AR file, okay? So that is um, uh, augmented reality. Now this one, let's see if I can do this, will look like this. So you take your, your file, you're going to, if you want, um, if, you've got a, if you've got an iPad or an Apple phone, I believe it's automatically augmented. But if you've got an Android, then I don't think it works like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your GLB file. You're going to, you can sign into um, uh, Merge, Merge Edu, which I have. And just sign in, say you're a student. And then you can take, you can upload this. And I'm going to do that in a minute and show you. Um, but not on the video, obviously. And you're going to upload this. And then you'll be able to see it using a Merge Cube or just put it onto a desk. Okay, let's do that now. So, I've got that, I've exported it. I'll go here. I've already signed, see that there's my name. <laughs> Don't use it. Right, and now we're going to upload a file. So, if I go to um, upload. Okay, there's GLTF. And can actually just take that one and drag it straight into there. Continue. That's going to process. And then if you sign in on your phone, if you've got a phone, or you can borrow someone's, you can then uh, use augmented reality. Okay. So that's it. I'm now going to post this on the...